Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Tally Star. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little crack of laughing. I hope everybody had a good weekend. My weekend was pretty uneventful, which is just how I like it. Not a lot of drama. <laughs> I don't really get a lot of drama too much. All the drama has been almost eliminated out of my life. <laughs> Besides, you know, the daily drama when you're out and about running into people that don't know how to drive or whatnot and what have you. But anyway, you know what time it is, baby doll. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. Go ahead and lay down. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with or whatever energy is going to be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to put that shit together. Well, yeah, I canned um, eight quarts of, uh, yeah, tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. I hadn't canned in a long time. I used to be a, a canning master and a prepper. <laughs> I mean, I still kind of am, but the last few years, just haven't been able to do it because of my physical ailments, but um, yeah, this year I was able to do it, so I was really grateful and really humbled to be doing that um, this weekend, so that's nice. I can have some homegrown food, so show! Whoa! Okay, that one just shot right on out. What have we got? Mr. King of Wands shot out. Like he was shoot a bullet shooting out of a gun. <laughs> Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Sure. Four pen. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Whew. Shuffle truffle. Let's get this deck. Let's go. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Look at that deck's going crazy back here. This deck is my craziest deck that I got. It's wild. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay, what do we got here? Oh boy, Pisces. Down on the table, we have got the uh, King of Wands. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. The overall energy for the reading here is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is new love here. This is emotions here, okay? Something's transforming here, and uh, it's been a long time coming here. This person's felt like they've weathered the storm here. They've been weathering this one out for quite some time. We got the King of Wands down here on the table. Here's your person. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ah, ah. Even though they're looking pretty dead, right? They feel like they're John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever and they're walking around while they're dancing around doing the staying alive shuffle here. King of Wands. So, King of Wands, uh, he's very controlling. He's very fickle in love here. King of Wands is also somebody here who. Um, they could have like an empire where they grow a lot of things or they could be like an organic gardener here or maybe even a flower farmer. We've got the four of pentacles in your person's energy here. And so, <coughs> um, honestly here, this four of pentacles here is all about, you know, it's the card of a miser. It's a card of, you know, holding your money down, okay? Not wanting to share your money here. Maybe not wanting to share your feelings. Maybe it's, you know, just a card, an energy here of not wanting to let go of something here. But we'll find out what they don't want to let go of here as we clarify the reading. The Ace of Pentacles here. Uh, Ace of Pentacles is a huge opportunity. Ace of Pentacles could be, you know, somebody wanting to buy a house, move in together. Somebody 
<coughs> wanting to buy a car, but it is a, a big opportunity here. So, okay, let's go ahead and let's talk to the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it was the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, <laughs> I've got to correct myself. I am so sorry. I don't know why I said the Four of Pentacles. I mean, I do because it's like this per, this is weird. I'm sorry, guys. I correct myself. That is the Page of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles is somebody getting information here, but I feel like this person is ultimately not wanting to, they're holding on to something here with this Page of Pentacles. It's that energy of that. So I read the energy instead of, you know, the actual, you know, meaning on the card. So I just read the card energetically here. So I feel like this person's not wanting to let go of something here, and I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to continue and see what is this person not wanting to let go of with the Page of Pentacles, please? What is this person not wanting to let go of here? Whew, this deck is crazy. What is this person not wanting to let go of with the Page of Pentacles here? Jesus criminy. Show us the Page of Pentacles. Sure. What are they not wanting to let go of? We get cards shooting out everywhere here. Okay. We've got the Seven of Wands here to the Two of Pentacles here. Okay. Yeah, with that, it's uh, the death card crossing that. Okay. They're not, it's like this person, they're not wanting to change something. They're wanting things to stay the same. I'm reading the, energetic, the energy here, and it's like, they're wanting things to stay the same. Isn't there a song like that? I wish things would stay the same. So what are they wanting thing, what are they wanting to stay the same here in this energy? What is this person wanting what are they wanting to stay the same the sun yep the sun card here okay so it's like they're wanting their their happiness here to stay they're just wanting to keep their happiness here okay and what is this person's happiness all about what is this person's happiness all about let's go what is this person's happiness all about let's see okay a change Oh boy. Let's go one more on that death here. What is this change? What is this change here in this person's energy? It's like they're resisting this change. What is this change here in this person's energy? Oh boy. It's the two of cups. Oh boy. Somebody here is fighting their feelings. Yep. This person's having a hard time this person's just having a hard time changing, okay? They don't want to let go of their independence here. They want things to stay the same here <clears throat> because it makes them happy. But this person realizes that there has been a huge change here. And the change is, is that this person here is, is, is starting to feel, they've caught, they've caught feelings here. They've caught feelings here that they never expected to, to, to catch, Okay, so it's like they just caught a virus here. <laughs> oh, the court, you might need to get some antibiotic cream for that. <laughs> Not like that, Judge. Not like that. The judge is wild here. I know. Okay, so they've been holding on to their independence for as long as you could ever possibly know here. Because their independence keeps them happy, but it's like this, it, it's, it's, They've changed. There's been a change because now this person is starting to feel like your hearts connect here. So you guys have connected here and this person feels like you guys have connected here. So it's changed, okay? Oh boy, oh boy. So what about this connection here has changed with the Two of Cups? What about this connection has changed here with the Two of Cups? What about this connection here has changed with the Two of Cups? Okay, the deck's going crazy. I can't help it. I'm rocking it back here. What, what about this connection has changed with the Two of Cups? What about this connection has changed with the... Yeah, the King of Swords. Yeah. The King of Swords, he likes to change things here. He's all always about change. So it's a repeating message here. So what's going on here that's changed? What's, what is the King of Swords changed? 
What is this energy with the King of Swords change? What about this energy here with the King of Swords has changed? Whew. What about this energy here with the King of Swords has changed? Come on, let's go. Let's shuffle truffle this mother trucker out. What has changed here? Yeah. Yep. This person here, okay, they're willing to put in the work here when it comes to this connection. It's literally the lover's card here, crossing the queen of pentacles. <clears throat> Somebody here willing to put in the work. So basically your person's willing to put in the work here. So let's go ahead, talk to the king of wands, see why the king of wands is here. Why is the king of wands here in Pisces person's energy? Shit, okay, what about the king of wands? Let's see. Cards are flying out here. Oh boy, we've got the page of wands here. And to the star here. Yeah. So this person here, they're hoping for the both of you to go do something together. Okay? The King of Wands is here because he's wanting a new adventure. And he's really, you know, hopeful that he can have this with you. So this person's ready for a new adventure here. Okay? In love. Oh, boy. Okay. So let's talk to the uh, Ace of Pentacles and let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here in Pisces? Per what is this new opportunity here? Show me the new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles. Let's go. Show me the new opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles. This is all changed. It's all transformation here. This this is connection has changed. <clears throat> What's going on here with the Ace of Pentacles? Show me this new opportunity. Oh my God, I almost lost the deck back here. It's going Caddy Wampus here. Ace of Pentacles, what's what's this new opportunity about? Let's go, come on now. <laughs> shuffle, truffle, let me get out my hog sniff and truffle here. The Four of Swords. Okay, so this is going to be something here that's good. It's going to change. Things are changing here. It's a changing energy here. What's going on here with the Four of Swords here? Four of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles here. Four swords to the Ace of Pentacles here. What's going on here? Yep, yep. This is what's going on here. Pisces, somebody is coming in here with their emotions here, okay? So, uh, this person here, they, they've, they're coming forth here to you. They've swallowed their pride. They're wearing their heart on the sleeve here. And this person here, it's like they're approaching you here. And they're definitely wanting here, they're wanting a serious relationship here with you. We've literally got the chariot card crossing the Hierophant, which we have with the Empress here. And who drives the chariot to Pound Town City to pet the kitty? Meow. Pound Town City, Illinois. It's the Emperor here. So, this is an opportunity. This person's presenting you an opportunity to... They want to heal this connection. They feel a healing energy here off of you. And this person is now finally swallowing their pride down. They're coming forth to you, wearing their heart on the sleeve, because this person has gained spiritual information or insight that they're wanting something more out of the situation with you. Beautiful energy. Okay, okay, I can dig it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to grab the final messages and... Uh, We'll do one card for each sign here. What else do you want to tell Pisces? Sure. We got the justice. This person's getting ready to make a heart over head decision here. Okay. Somebody's getting ready to open up their feelings here towards you. And Pisces, this person has had uh, a spiritual awakening here. Okay. So, oh boy. Spiritual awakening. That's hot. Beautiful. It's probably because Mercury retrograde is getting ready to happen. <laughs> Let's go Pisces dealing with Pisces. How do you feel about Pisces? Pisces, how do you feel about Pisces? They have been holding back a uh, truth that they want to tell you. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer. You guys are not talking. They're up in their thoughts about this. Scorp. Scorp, 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 scorp. They don't want any more problems. Uh, Aries. Aries. Okay. Aries here, uh, they have been, 
You guys haven't been talking here for quite some time, but Aries is getting ready to shoot you a message because they want to know what you've been up to. Uh, Leo? Sure, Leo. Leo here is just trying not to rock the boat. Sag! Sag, 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 Sag. Okay, Sag thinks you're very attractive. Uh, Libra. Libra thinks that things have been working well between the two of you. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. You guys are not talking. Aquarius. Aquarius. What was that? Well, Aquarius here is needing the strength and determination here to do something here in this situation. Virgo. Virgo. You're everything that Virgo ever wanted. How about Taurus? Let's go Taurus. Taurus? Sure, Taurus. Um, Taurus feels like you've been a little bit cold lately. Uh, Cap. Cap. Cap is feeling like a wounded warrior here in this situation. So, Pisces, this has been your reading. Tarot's adjourned.